Babe, did you spend $300 on bouncy fitness? Yeah, so I saw this ad on Facebook where they send you this ball and these weights, and all you have to do is just bounce, lift the weights, while you watch TV, and you get really fit. You gotta be kidding me. No, wait until you see the before and after photos. You're gonna wanna try it too. She fell for it. Hey everyone, Camber here helping you stay fit for life. And today I'm gonna to show you how to fake a transformation photo, also known as a before and after photo, so that you don't get tricked into buying some kind of program that sounds too good to be true. Now, just to caveat that, if you already have a solid base of muscle and maybe you've just gotten overweight, then you can actually achieve a lot in a short amount of time to get back to how you wanna look. But if you're just getting into the gym for the first time, you don't have any experience overweight, then don't expect to achieve the types of results you see in these different programs. The trick to this is to actually take your after photo first. And the first step of that process starts here in the kitchen, but it actually started last night at about seven o'clock when I started a fast. And it's about almost nine o'clock now, so we're going on 14 hours of no food or drinking for me, drinking water or any other kind of liquid. And this morning I was about two pounds below my normal morning body weight, and that's mostly because I'm dehydrated, which isn't really healthy, but it's good for this type of thing because you're gonna look more lean in your before photos. So now that we got the first step out of the way, let's move on to step number two. Okay, step two of the process is to get a good pump. So what we're gonna do is do some lighter weight, about 10 minutes working some chest, shoulders, and triceps, those muscles that are gonna be mostly in the picture, and do about 12 to 15 reps with enough weight where it's hard by the end of it, but you're doing really slow reps. And when you feel your muscles starting to get really tight by the end, that means you're getting a good pump. because we wanna get as much blood flow to make those muscles look as big as possible for our after photo. But also, before we do that, I'm gonna do some vacuums, which I'll show you suck in your stomach, and you hold it in as tight as you can for five to 10 seconds, let it out, take a breath, do a set of five or so of those right after the other, and that works your transverse abdominals. It's really holds your stomach in tight, and it's just a good exercise to do overall if you wanna keep a flat stomach, but we want it to look as flat as possible for these pictures, so I'm gonna get some sets of that in first, because trying to do it after you do a bunch of weights can be difficult when you're a little winded and breathing hard. So I'm gonna do that, get the pump done, then we're gonna get inside and take the pictures. All right, so we just got the pump, a little winded now, but I wanna show you how much of a difference lighting can make before we take our picture. So we're getting ready for it. Right now I have my main light coming right in front of me. You can see muscles and everything, that's cool. We just got a pump so it helps out, but I wanna show you how much of a difference where you place your light makes on how you look because you see pictures of people online, everyone's posting the best things and the best light, best time of day right after they've worked out, but they don't even look like that all the time. So don't worry if you don't look like that. So let's start moving the light over to about here. You can see as it's moving, it makes shadows across this side of my body. It makes your abs stick out more because now you have shadows going across them. It makes your muscles look bigger because when it's straight on, there's no contrast at all. So now keep coming. When you get to the extreme all the way to the side, you see that especially it brings out the obliques here because now you have shadows across here. So obviously if you're super ripped, then you'll be able to see a lot of this stuff all the time. But even if you're not, you can place lights in the right spot. So I'm gonna have the light off to the side a little bit for this after photo and not this quite this dramatic, maybe about 30 degrees off, just so we have a little bit more contrast and it'll look a little different from the before photo where I'm gonna have it straight on. And also, I have another light back here. You see what happens when I turn this on. This gives a little bit of outline around the back of your body. So now, instead of it just being dark, it kind of, any muscles that might be sticking out around the side, that light's gonna give it an outline and make it stand out more than it would have otherwise. So, take a breath, tighten everything up, and get the picture. Oh, and one other thing, if you clench your jaw, it'll bring your neck up just a little bit, not that there's really anything to do, I don't have a bunch hanging down, but, and it'll make the outsides of your jaw stick out a little bit too, so, that'll just make you look even more defined. So every little bit helps. And now we're gonna take a couple from the side. 
So same type of thing here, we have this light coming at us from the side, lighting up the back just a little bit to see those muscles so it's not too dark. We're actually gonna bring the light a little bit more in front of me again, so that now the shadows, you see right here we have some shadow around there so that it makes the chest stand out more and it makes this muscle look a little bit bigger. And then just making sure shoulders back in this, suck your stomach in, Whew, same thing with the jaw. We are done with the after photos, so now we get to go on to the easy part where we're just gonna eat a lot of food all day. All right, so the next step is just eat a lot of food throughout the day and drink a lot of water to get all that water retention back in and start to fill myself up. So notice I didn't say junk food. I'm eating the same stuff I normally do, but some bigger portions. That's the anabolic French toast. It's only 600 calories, but it's a lot of food. So if I eat low calorie foods, I can eat a lot more of it. And that's what's really gonna fill up the volume in your stomach and make it look bigger for later. So we'll give you an update on the things we're eating throughout the day to finish or get ready for our before picture. About to put down this pizza. The bread and cheese is probably gonna really bloat me up there and uh, keep on drinking water and try to make that belly as big as we can. See you in a bit. See all that? Yep. That means it's done. So it's the last thing we're gonna have before we do the next pictures. See that right there? When I was blending, it was almost nine cups. This protein ice cream here, there's about 450, 500, somewhere around that calories. But I mean, this is one of my go-tos for like, if I'm starting to lose willpower and just wanna binge on something, then I'll make one of these. Or maybe if I'm going to a party, you know there's gonna be a bunch of junk food and I don't wanna eat it. You, you eat one of these whole things before you go, I can promise you, you're probably not gonna be eating much. But um, I think we would have been good to take the pictures after the pizza. I was already feeling pretty bloated about 30 minutes after that, but I'm gonna push through this, really make it, make it bad, and uh, it's probably gonna be a little painful, but we'll see what it looks like. About halfway through it, I really don't wanna eat more. I'm telling you, if you can get all the way through this and still be hungry, I don't know what your deal is, but it's uh, it's hard to get through this. I put a little extra xanthan gum in it, which is what really makes it fluff up and gain even more volume. And with this, I think I'm at around almost 2,000 calories for the day with the pizza and the French toast and all of this. And I didn't even want to start eating this, but there we go. It's all gone. That was painful. I'm gonna give that about 10, 15 minutes or so to expand a little more and then we're gonna get these pictures done and I'm not gonna eat for a while. It's almost 4.30 so it'll be about seven hours between the after and the before photos. So let's see how fake we can make this. All right, we are back to do the before pictures. I'm quite stuffed from all the food I've had so far and a lot of times you'll see these, you know, it's really obvious people are standing like this and I'm not gonna do that in the front pose. I am gonna do a little bit on the side pose but the reason is because from the front, when I do this, it actually kind of makes my chest look a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna pull my arms back like this and stick the front out that way. That way the lats stay back so they're not adding any size there. And then also my arms, you know, if I'm just pushing them against the side, they can look kind of big. So I'm gonna have them turned a little bit backwards as well to try to make everything up there look smaller. And just pull your pants up a little bit too because the closer you get to your belly button, it can make it just look bigger so I'm gonna purposely push my stomach out pull this in a little bit so the bottom's sticking out and also how we talked about the jaw before if you let your mouth hang open a little bit it can if you have anything here it can make it stand out and one thing you can do too I didn't mention earlier but when I took the before photo if you lean forward a little bit it'll make the upper body look bigger and then your waist looks smaller and the opposite leaning back it'll make the chest look smaller the stomach stick out more so now from the side view what we're going to do is obviously my arm looks kind of big from the side so i'm going to try not to push it against me i'm going to hold it out a little bit turn it so that it doesn't look as wide i'm going to bring my shoulders down on this one and if we do it just right so you can still see 
the stomach sticking out, but if you do it right, it almost starts to make it look a little bit like a man boob, so that helps out with the before photo. So I'm gonna slouch down here. This is where I am gonna bring my shoulders down some. I don't wanna make it too obvious, but there we go. So now you can see what both of the before shots look like. Obviously, you know, you can still see a little bit of abs there, almost like Thor in Avengers Endgame where he looks fat, but you can still see some abs over the top of it. So we can use Photoshop to make that a little bit smoother and less obvious. And, you know, we're faking the photo as it is. So that's just a little bit more enhancement that you can do to make that work. So I'm gonna pop up the two pictures for you now, before and after, both from the front and the side so you can see what those look like. And something really important that I want to point out here is that this is not to take away from anyone who's done a real before and after transformation, who's put in the work and has pictures to show for it over time of their results. More so, I just want to show you how drastically different you can make your own body look from one point of the day to the next of the same day and how easy it is to fake this type of stuff so you don't get fooled into these different programs that people are trying to sell by using pictures of someone who's pretty much already fit but then they make them look even better in another picture. So don't worry about trying to look like your favorite fitness YouTuber or Instagram person because remember, those people don't even look like what you see online all the time. You're seeing them in the best light, in the best uh, time of the day after working out and they take a bunch of pictures and post their best one. So don't worry about trying to look like someone else. Be the best you that you can be. Keep improving on what you can do. Have your own goals and just reach for those. Yeah, it's cool to see those types of things, but remember, you don't need to look like other people. Just be healthy, be fit, be yourself, okay? So hopefully this opened your eyes to how different your body can look and not to worry about comparing yourself to other people. But if this was helpful, then hit that like button and watch some more videos. We're gonna have a lot of cool stuff on the channel. Subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you in the next one. Okay, so as I was going through all the clips, I realized I never showed you what the date and time was, so I wanted to show you the data from the files to show that it was, in fact, the same day. So this shows February 15th. I'm not sure why. I guess I somehow set up the date wrong on my camera, but it does show 9.36 a.m. on that day, and this is from the after this photos that we did first thing in the morning. Okay, so now moving down to this file, we have February 15th, so it's the same day, even though it's wrong but 4 45 p.m so that's a little over seven hours later and this is from the before right, pictures so that we took towards the left. end of the day so just want to point that out show you it is in fact the same day but i hope you like the video thanks for watching and we'll see you soon